2016 right here found it osrs normal iron man big video and the reason why i'm mentioning this is because i have been bombarded with you know these questions of like hey how much is your bank worth and like hey can you make a video on on your bank or something you know we'll, we'll do one for beginning of 2018 so i'm gonna go from left to right and the first tab is the most important tab for me just because it's the tab where all the important like equipment i use all the time is placed we got ourselves the coins we got ourselves skilling capes i only use crafting and construction mostly nowadays but these other four still come in handy the already cloaks and the other achievement diary stuff are here as well because they're really useful for teleports and we got full grace of course and yeah from this side I just put some food here because i use the food pretty much every day since i do pvm all the time and as we keep going down we got ourselves some uh, fancy jewelry got the eternal slayer uh, ring it's actually really good I, I like using this a lot i got ourselves the uh, berserker uh, the Xanai jewelries all here with the fury of course still very useful and if you keep going down we got ourselves the fancy jordan shoes you know from cerberus and we move down some more we got ourselves the spirit shield so i do have two spirit shields and i don't have a spectral so i do have the arcane and the uh, ellie but the spectral i would love to one day get it and as we move down we have uh, the main mage equipment stuff armor so we got the ancestrals three hats five tops and nope that's not the ancestral pants that's just the budget pants but yeah one day i will get the pants i'm trying to get it by 2019 so i got like 11 months left that's the goal get it before 2019 in Beheart, got that during the summer grinding like a boss that slayer for it it was worth and we move over to this section it's just the melee equipment section that i use a lot you know bandos the uh, serpentine tanzanite form helmet uh infernal cape and then we move down a bit more as the armadale stuff and then we get ourselves to all the weapons so i just b basically piled all the weapons i used on a daily basis together so we got the elder maul the twisted bow and the code i want these are very used often used but not the code i so much nowadays just these two because they're great for raids and down here is the gods were set the most iconic weapons had raids not came out right so i'm glad to have those because you know i have a lot of sentimental value to them and yeah, we got the, all these other weapons. You know what they are, so I'm not gonna go through them too much. Five Dragon Claws. Of course, Dragon Warhammer. Got a Bludgeon there as well. Staff of the Deads. Dragon Hunter Crossbows. Armored Crossbow. I kind of miss this weapon. I don't use it too much nowadays. And we come down here. It's the Mythical Cave. Pretty new item. Uh, best in slot for Crush Accuracy if you need the best Crush Accuracy. So it's cool. And we come down here. We got the Twisted Bugglers. <laughs> Two of them, uh, Din's Bolt Axe and the Dragon Fire Shield, you know, my baby. And then all the other rings that I don't really use too often, but yeah, they're here. And we got the Void stuff, of course. Here we got the Superior Slayer bonus weapons, some Mist Battle Stabs, uh, more Stabs. And yeah, down here is just miscellaneous equipment that is even less used, but yeah, the Bolts on the ammo and all that stuff i just put it down here along with the uh, miscellaneous food we got ourselves a lot of granite cannonballs that's more recent you know with the uh, gargoyle boss so still have a shit ton of amethyst arrows as you can see i don't know if i'm ever gonna run out but yeah it's gonna take forever but lots of ammunitions for different purposes of pvm and another recent addition is the giant diamond bolts the dragon uh, bolts in general you know you can add your tips to them and it's a lot stronger than the normal versions so yeah there's a lot of use for that it pretty much has replaced my ruby bolts and my diamond bolts regular and this is the second tab this is the miscellaneous equipment tab for precious valuable drops that i got throughout mostly pvm and i don't use them so i just put them here so we got ourselves the two extra insignias code eyes throughout the race grind and we got an extra tanzine mutagen leftover spirit shields from core black tourmaline core very recent addition to the bank i am still gonna get the second bandos boot i just need to find the time it's just bandos is so crowded all the time so it's a huge pain in the ass 
and leftover prayer scrolls, seven of them, dexterous, seven arcane. So this is a little bit deceiving because I've actually gotten like 18 dexterous scrolls and like 15 arcanes, but quite a while ago when the prices of the scrolls were still pretty damn high, like 80 mil, 100 mil plus, right, for dex, and like 40 mil-ish, 50 mil for arcane, I decided to drop a few of them. So I probably dropped a good like 10. But yeah, I will mention that, you know, towards the price check if theoretically I kept them. So we got a lot of Torrent Prayer Scrolls, 89 of them. That's what you get for uh, doing a shit ton of raids with a lot of points. Some Champ Scrolls, I I just keep them because, you know, they're cool and rare. Alright, we got some level 75, 70 weapons, daggers, uh, Saradom and Swords, God Sword Blades, you know, some Tentacles, Tridents. A lot of these are just Slayer, God Wars. Stuff, yeah, definitely more Slayer God War stuff. Lots of Forecast heads. More recent editions. Abyssal head is a more recent edition as well. And you keep going. Oh, yeah, these are more Slayer stuff for sure. You keep going. We got our barrel set stuff, uh, leftover barrel stuff. Got our Wilderness Shields that unfortunately has been somewhat replaced by superior ones. And here are the dragon items, some from raids, you know, some from just Slayer, mostly Slayer. But yeah, got a ton of these. Uh, nice collectors. I've asked some of them though, like dragon longswords and whatnot. But yeah, the more iconic stuff like equipment, the chains I would keep for sure. And as we go down, there's more Slayer reward stuff. Uh, this is more recent edition, right? The leaf bladed stuff. The granite gloves and rings. And I come down here is the remaining uh, DK's ring extras. So I do DK's a lot now. So yeah, this is just gonna keep growing, as I want the bones from them. And here are some high level Alk stuff, right? That basically, if I'm in a pinch for money, I'll Alk some of these. Plenty of money there. And the rest is just leftover uh, ammunitions. Hundred K rune arrows. I had like three hundred K. I sold all of them, and I now I have hundred K again. Nice. Yeah, lots of uh, good Alks here, as you can see. Well, definitely look forward to asking some of these if I need to. Leftover gems. This is the residual of 99 crafting. So, again, this is free money as well if I ever need. And we move on to the third tab. This is the Clue Scroll Rewards tab. It's starting to get a little crowded. But, yeah, it looks really nice. So, the main important things are, like, stuff that I got from Masters and Elites recently. Because, yeah, I don't do, like, hearts anymore. I don't do mediums and... The other stuff like that. So we got full samurai except the gloves and the uh, shoes. But yeah, it looks really good. I like to fashion escape these if I got time. But yeah, lots of uh, robins. And <laughs> my gilded. Yeah, I got my first ever gilded here. And don't have dirt age of course. But yeah, not much to talk about here. Otherwise, just these are really old rewards from Harkus a long time ago. So, And then if you go down, there's also some more master stuff. You know, like the... Boots of Darkness, so the Darkness set, the Mystic Equivalents, I only need to get the top and I, I would have the full set, which is really cool. And yeah, we got some more Demon Mass and whatnot, but not too much going on over here. And you go down here, this is like the Master Elite Clue Scroll requirement stuff, so I have them all here. Alright, let's uh, go down here. This is like, I don't even know what this tab is, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, this is like super budget tab, like if I need to go to the Wilderness, or something or do something super dangerous where I might lose my shit and never get it back and if you go down here this is the tools tab what I mean by tools is like a uh, use of teleports use for skilling so lots of these runes I just place all the runes together because it's weird if I separate them otherwise a lot of the stuff in this tab is purely teleports look at this like what 20 plus items here just all for teleports really handy I really like keeping it this way because it works out really well and then down here is like the physical tools themselves all compact in one nice neat place there are some things that I just can't really dedicate its own tab just because they're so little such as the imps and whatnot so but yeah uh, we go down here this is the potion herb lore farming tab tons of herb still you know I'm already 99 farming and 99 herb lore, but you do a lot of bossing still in Today's RuneScape, old school RuneScape, they just shit out seeds and herbs all the time. So yeah, so many goddamn herbs and so many potions as well. So I technically don't even need to worry about using these herbs because yeah, I have so much potions anyways. Lots of seeds. 
Oh shit, check out my uh, attack potion stack. 11,000 of them. Made a ton, you know, during the 9 Herb Blur, and it's worth it, I mean, shit, I'll never run out of super attacks. And I still have a ton of seeds. These are the most precious ones because you make super combat potions with them, and you use them a lot. At least for me. Oh my god, I gotta mention the torch zone finish, okay? 2,000 of them. This is from the mistake during the uh, 9 Herb Blur grind, but I do use them at Corp, just I won't be able to use all 2,000 at Corp because that's like equivalent to what, 6,000 Corporal Beast kills? I'll pass. Anyways, we move down a bit more, and this is like the skilling resource tab. Tons of resources, right? I've used so many already. I burned through a ton of them for 99 crafting, but again, bossing just shits out so much resources nowadays. Lots of dragon hides, lots of gems, lots of uh, resources like fish, right? So a lot of crafting related stuff. Very good. Rune dart tips are nice in stock because of forecast and whatnot, so that's great. We got ourselves lots and lots of ore, hint hint, I'm not going to talk about it too much, but yeah. And lots of bones that I am stocking up. I would love to have enough bones to 99 print in the future, so continually stocking up the bones for that glorious moment sometime in the future. Also stocking up on insole heads as well for that same reason. Lots of planks, lots of logs. Also, look at this, right? I spawned 100,000 of them using flax spell for torture grind and i have another 92,000. you can think zoar for that okay so we go down here this is like i guess miscellaneous resource tab yeah also the skilling outfits are here as well all right guys the last tab is pretty straightforward to my pet tab so the most important pet right here is this i don't think anybody has this pet but uh, the other pets right the other uh pretty cool pets the bloodhound pet right the most time-consuming pet I get on average, but yeah, ended up getting quite lucky on that. So just side note, I don't really go for pets. You know, these are things that just happen on a passive basis. So if I'm doing my goals and I happen to get the pet, you know, it's cool, man. But yeah, during my PVMing and skilling adventures, we end up getting nine pets though. Got Rocky, uh, Supreme, pretty recent one. Rock Golem, very recent one. Zora Snakeling a while ago and Zeliana Kelfi Queen a Hellhound like over a year plus ago and of course the Skotos which I did end up getting uh, fairly close to the Bloodhound Alright guys, we're at the last part of the video so I'm going to be price checking everything and we're gonna be using the conduit price checker tool okay to do that so even I don't know how much the bank is worth currently approximately but i'm gonna guess like five bill because you know we got twisted bills and some other stuff on the way during these six months since so uh we shall see let's go ahead and just do the bank value can we calculate it please oh shit okay <laughs> all right all right that's a lot more than i, I was thinking it's at 5.6 bill estimated most of these prices are pretty much Full and accurate because you know race has been out for a long time and the prices have basically conformed to the grand exchange prediction so on the main tab we have the bulk of the money pretty much all the money is on the main tab and it makes sense because these ancestral stags and like dragon claw stacks they really add up to the price so yeah this main tab is 3.8 bill and then the second tab is worth about one bill i'm guessing you know the kodai's helped a lot in that and also all these other things that, um, yeah, they just stack up in out value. So a lot of the money is from the outs right here. Uh, tab 5 is 80 mil because of all the runes, for sure. Lots and lots of runes in pure essence, you know, they stack up. Tab 6, oh yeah, 200 mil. Easily. Because of all these seeds, bro. The seeds are so expensive. Potions too and herbs, they all stack up to a really uh, hefty price. Absolutely. And tab 7 is 350 mil. Oh yes, because of... All the resources yeah most resources are value fairly high you know in the in the thousand gp or more for a lot of them so yeah we got a uh, 350 mil in that wow that's crazy and the other tabs they are not worth too much the last tab is worth four mil because of the anglerfish <laughs> the pets are worthless no i'm just kidding no they, they have a lot of you know intrinsic value i had 18 deck scrolls i used one right so it would have been 17. So I dropped 10 of them. So I dropped about 700 mil worth of deck scrolls. So if I didn't drop the scrolls, I would have been over 6 bill, I suppose. 
But there you go, this is the GP value of my bank. I'm sure a lot of you guys are now satisfied. Now, there's one thing I do want to say. Honestly, no matter how much the bank value says, it's never going to amount to the intrinsic value that I personally value from like the progress and the goals of this account, right? You just can't really measure that. Although the GP value itself is really cool to see, but right, don't forget, the real value is in the progress and the journey of your character's progression itself.